Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat, and today we're going over a plus one plus one counter deck tech that will have us stealing our opponent's creatures and getting value from sacrificing creatures we control. Let's jump right into it. So our commander is going to be Marchesa the Black Rose for one, a blue, black, and red. She's a 3-3 human wizard with dethrone, which whenever this creature attacks, the player with the most life or tied for the most life, put a 1-1 counter on it. Other creatures you control have dethrone. Whenever a creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it dies, return that creature to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. We can easily abuse this by gaining control of our opponent's creatures, giving them plus one plus one counters, swinging at our opponents, and then if they happen to die or if we sacrifice them, we get them back and we control them. So if we're wanting to cast our commander a little bit earlier, we can do so with mana rocks. As for the mana rocks, we have Commander's Sphere, it's an artifact, we tap it to add one mana of any color in our commander's color identity, and we can sacrifice it to draw a card. Darksteel Ingot, it's another artifact, it's indestructible, and we can tap it to add one mana of any color. Demir Signet, it's an artifact, we pay one, tap it, we can get a blue and a black. Is it Signet, we can pay one, tap it, we get a blue and a red. Rakdos Signet, we can pay one, tap it, we get a black and a red. Talisman of Creativity, we can tap it to add one colorless, or we can tap it to add red or blue, it's just, it's going to deal one damage to us. You won't find much ramp in blue, black, or red, but with Burnished Heart, we can sacrifice it for three colorless. We get two basic lands on the battlefield tapped. So how do we make up for all this lost ramp? Let's talk about the card draw of the deck. When it comes to the card draw in the deck, we're going to start with Coiling Deus. We can tap it to sacrifice a creature and put a charge counter on it. Or we can pay one, sacrifice it, draw a card for each charge counter on Coiling Deus. Disciple of Bolas is a 2-1 human wizard creature. When it enters the battlefield, we're going to sacrifice another creature. You gain X life and draw X cards where X is that creature's power. Grim Haru Specs is a 3-2 human wizard with morph for one black. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, draw a card. Midnight Reaper is a 3-2 zombie knight. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, Midnight Reaper deals you one damage and you draw a card. River Kelpie is a 3-3 beast. Whenever River Kelpie or another permanent enters the battlefield from a graveyard, draw a card. Whenever a player casts a spell from a graveyard, draw a card, and he has Persist. Vampiric Rites is an enchantment where we can pay one in a black to sacrifice a creature, we gain one life, and we draw a card. Brainstorm is an instant we draw three cards and put two cards from our hand on top of our library in any order. Factor Fiction is an instant we're going to look at the top five cards of our library and an opponent separates those cards into two piles. We're going to put one into our hand and the other pile goes into our graveyard. Ambition's Cost is a sorcery where we draw three cards and we lose three life. Same for Ancient Craving. We draw three cards and we lose three life. Contentious Plan is a sorcery. It has proliferate and we get to draw a card. Ponder is a sorcery. We look at the top three cards of our library. We put them back in any order. We may shuffle our library and we get to draw a card. Read the Bones is a sorcery where we get to scry two, draw two cards, and we lose two life. Sign in Blood is a sorcery where target player draws two cards and loses two life. Tezzeret's Gambit is a sorcery where we draw two cards then proliferate. Now every deck needs some removal, so let's start with counter spell. It's an instant counter target spell. Go for the throat is an instant destroy target non-artifact creature. Negate counter target non-creature spell. Rakdos charm, we can choose one, exile all cards from target player's graveyard, destroy target artifact. Reality shift, exile target creature, its controller manifests the top card of their library. Terminate, destroy target creature, it can't be regenerated. Tragic slip, target creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn or if a creature died this turn you can do it for its morbid and it gets negative 13 negative 13 instead when it comes to the board wipes we have decree of pain it's a sorcery destroy all creatures they can't be regenerated draw a card for each creature destroyed this way or we can cycle it for three and two black and all creatures get minus two minus two until end of turn living death each player exiles all creature cards from their graveyard, sacrifices creatures they control, and put all cards exiled this way on the battlefield. So the creatures we control and our graveyard are going to do a little switcheroo. Now earlier I said this deck was all about stealing our opponent's creatures, so let's talk about how we're going to do that. Captivating Crew is a 4-3 human pirate where we can pay 3 and a red to gain control of target creature and opponent controls until end of turn. We will untap that creature, it gains haste until end of turn, and we can activate this ability anytime we can cast a sorcery. Molten Primordial is a 6-4 avatar with haste. 
When it enters the battlefield for each opponent, gain control of up to one target creature that player controls until end of turn. Untap those creatures, they gain haste until end of turn. Grave Betrayal is an enchantment. Whenever a creature you don't control dies, return it to the battlefield under your control with an additional plus one plus one counter on it at the beginning of the next end step. That creature is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Press Into Service is a sorcery that has support 2 where we can put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on up to 2 target creatures. This is going to allow us to gain control of target creature until end of turn, untap that creature and it gains haste until end of turn. Okay so we've talked about some ways to gain control of our opponent's creatures. Now let's talk about how we're going to keep them permanently. So to remind you, our commander says when a creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it dies, Return that card to the battlefield under your control at the beginning of the next end step. So really, let's talk about some of the sack outlets we have. Blood Flow Connoisseur is a 1-1 vampire. We can sacrifice a creature and put a 1-1 counter on Blood Flow Connoisseur. Carrion Feeder is a 1-1 zombie. He can't block, but we can sacrifice a creature and put a 1-1 counter on Carrion Feeder. Falconrath Aristocrat is a 4-1 vampire with flying and haste. We can sacrifice a creature, and Falconrath Aristocrat gains indestructible until end of turn. If the creature sacrificed was human, we get to put a 1-1 counter on her. Viscera Seer is a 1-1 vampire wizard. We can sacrifice a creature, and then we get to scry one. Yeheni Undying Partisan is a 2-2 Aetherborn vampire with haste. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, put a 1-1 counter on Yeheni Undying Partisan. We can sacrifice another creature, and Yeheni gains indestructible until end of turn. Next, we're going to talk about how we get value from the deck. This deck is all about plus one plus one counters, right? Well, with Flayer of the Hatebound, it's a 4-2 devil with Undying. When Flayer of the Hatebound or another creature you control enters the battlefield from your graveyard, that creature deals damage equal to its power to any target. There's going to be a lot of back and forth between our graveyard and our battlefield because of our commander. When a creature with a plus one plus one counter on it dies, we return it to our battlefield at the beginning of the next end step. Herald of the Secret Streams is a 2-3 Merfolk Warrior. If our creatures happen to have a plus one plus one counter on them, they are unblockable. Merrick Nightblade is a 2-3 Orc Assassin with Outlast for one black. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has Death Touch. Necropolis Regent is a 6-5 Vampire with Flying. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, put that many plus one plus one counters on it. This can get insane. Skatewing Spy is a 2-3 Vidalcan Rogue Mutant. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter on it has Flying. Now there are some more ways to put plus one plus one counters on our creatures, such as Feast on the Fallen. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of each upkeep, if an opponent lost life last turn, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Unspeakable Symbol is an enchantment where we can pay three life, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature. Arcbound Slith, Arcbound Stinger, and Arcbound Worker. These are all zero zero artifact creatures with modular one. They enter the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it, and when they die, we can put a plus one plus one counter on target artifact creature. That won't matter but what does matter is that they enter with a plus one plus one counter. So if they do die, they come back if we control our commander. So the big question is, how do we win with this deck? We will win with this deck by putting counters on our creatures by attacking our opponents. Remember, if we have our commander out on the battlefield, our creatures have dethroned, so if we're attacking the player with the most life, or tied for the most life, we get to put a 1-1 one -one counter on them. And if our opponents happen to block and they kill our creatures, our creatures get to come back at the next end step. So it's like our creatures never really die. And we can gain control of our opponent's creatures, put counters on their creatures that we control, and we get them back every time they die. We can sacrifice them to get value out of them. It is a non-stop cycle. So this is a very combat-oriented deck in getting value out of sacrificing our opponents and our own creatures. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been... A plus one plus one counter deck tech. Please be sure to support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. And if you would like to further support this channel, be sure to check out the merch below. We have t-shirts, long sleeves, and hoodies with a really cool mango logo on them. And if you'd like this deck or any of the cards in the deck, please use the TCG link below. These both really help out the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one. A uh, peace.